Today, we venture into the realms of doubt and uncertainty as we explore the life and teachings of Puro of Ellis, the philosopher who pioneered the skeptical tradition. What does it mean to suspend judgment? And can this approach to life bring us peace? Let's dive in. Puro was born at a time when Greece was a hotbed of philosophical exploration, but his origins were rather modest. Hailing from the city of Elis, located in the western Peloponnese, Pyrrho was not initially bent on a philosophical path. His first love was painting, and he was, for a time, an apprentice to a muralist. His initial involvement with the arts provides a glimpse into his fascination with perception, how we see the world around us, literally and metaphorically. The decisive turning point came when he joined Alexander the Great on his expedition to India. Far from being just a military campaign, this journey was an extraordinary exchange of cultures and philosophies. It was here, in contact with Indian sages and thinkers, that Pyrrho's intellectual trajectory took a sharp turn. The Eastern notions of impermanence, the limitations of human knowledge, and the pursuit of inner peace struck a chord with him setting the stage for his later philosophical musings. Upon his return to Greece, Pyrrho was a changed man. No longer content to express himself through visual arts, he now felt a compelling need to delve into the deepest questions of existence. What is truth? Is it attainable? And if not, how should we navigate a world steeped in uncertainty? These questions would go on to form the bedrock of his skeptical philosophy. It's important to note that Pyrrho's philosophy didn't emerge in a vacuum. Greece at that time was home to various schools of thought, including cynicism and epicureanism, each grappling with questions about the nature of reality, ethics, and the good life. But Pyrrho's approach would take a unique direction, one that shunned the very notion of certainty itself. As we delve deeper into the teachings of Pyrrho of Ellis, it's crucial to understand the foundational ideas that shaped his skeptical philosophy. These core concepts not only defined his worldview, but also offered a radical departure from the prevailing philosophical norms of his time. They challenge us to reevaluate our assumptions about knowledge, ethics, and the nature of reality itself. Let's explore these fundamental principles in greater detail. First, the concept of Epoche, or suspension of judgment, is central to Pyrrho's philosophical framework. Unlike many of his contemporaries who sought definitive answers to life's most pressing questions, Pyrrho argued that certainty is an illusion. He believed that for every argument, there is an equally compelling counterargument, leaving us in a state of perpetual indecisiveness. By suspending judgment, Pyrrho claimed that we can achieve tranquility, or ataraxia. Next, we have acatalepsia, which is the notion that human beings cannot ever know the ultimate nature of things. While this might sound like a nihilistic view, for Pyrrho, it was liberating. Recognizing the limitations of human perception and cognitive abilities frees us from the stress and anxiety produced by our relentless search for absolute truths. The concept of relativism is also prominent in Pyrrho's philosophy. He suggested that nothing is inherently good or bad, but only becomes so relative to our perceptions and preconceptions. By acknowledging this, Pyrrho believed that one could achieve a peaceful existence, undisturbed by the ups and downs that life inevitably throws our way. Lastly, the idea of empirical inquiry also finds its roots in Pyrrho's skepticism. Since he questioned the absolute nature of reality, empirical observation became the closest thing to a reliable method for understanding the world around us. But even here, Pyrrho would caution that our senses are not infallible, and what we observe is always subject to interpretation, further solidifying the need for epoche. 
Each of these concepts is not just an academic exercise for Piro. They serve as guiding principles for living a life marked by tranquility and equanimity, freed from the dogmatic assertions that often lead to human suffering. So the next time you find yourself entangled in a well of existential doubt or overwhelmed by life's complexities, perhaps a dose of Pyrrhonian skepticism can offer you a path to serenity. Pyrrho's ideas have had a far-reaching influence, stretching from antiquity to the modern age. While Pyrrho himself may not have left any written works, his teachings were carried forward by his followers and later philosophers who identified with the skeptical tradition. This ripple effect can be seen in the emergence of various skeptical schools and movements, both in ancient times and during the Renaissance when his ideas were rediscovered and debated vigorously. The core principles of his philosophy, such as hypoche and ataraxia, have found echoes in later philosophies and even modern psychology. Cognitive behavioral therapy, for instance, incorporates elements of suspending judgment and challenging preconceived beliefs, steps towards achieving a more balanced mental state. In terms of ethical and social impact, Piro skepticism has been cited as an early form of relativism which has influenced debates on moral and cultural relativism in contemporary ethics and anthropology. By advocating for a form of intellectual humility, Pirro's teachings challenge dogmatism and encourage open dialogue, a timely message for our polarized times. Second, Pirro's ideas have had a significant influence on the development of the scientific method his skepticism can be seen as a precursor to empiricism, urging individuals to question the validity of their perceptions and beliefs. This kind of rigorous questioning is a foundational element of scientific inquiry, promoting a healthy skepticism that drives researchers to test, retest, and refine their hypothesis. Lastly, the resurgence of interest in mindfulness and Eastern philosophies has brought renewed attention to Piro as he is believed to have been influenced by Eastern thought during his travels with Alexander the Great. His teachings on achieving a tranquil mind resonate with mindfulness practices, drawing a line between ancient skepticism and contemporary mental wellness approaches. All in all, Piro's philosophy offers a rich tapestry of ideas that have stood the test of time, remaining relevant and impactful in diverse fields like psychology, ethics, and science. His legacy serves as a testament to the enduring power of questioning, doubt, and open inquiry. But how can we apply Pirro's skepticism in our modern lives? First, the concept of a poche has real-world applications in decision-making and interpersonal relationships. Before jumping to conclusions about a person or situation, practice suspending judgment to gather more information. This can reduce misunderstandings and conflicts, leading to more meaningful interactions. Second, ataraxia can be a transformative approach to modern stress management. In a world that constantly bombards us with information and expectations, taking a step back to suspend judgment can be liberating. By doing so, you distance yourself from immediate reactions and emotional turbulence, paving the way for a more balanced life. As for relativism, acknowledging that there are multiple perspectives in any situation can enhance empathy and open-mindedness. This is particularly useful in a diverse society, where conflicting views are the norm rather than the exception. By practicing relativism, you allow for a richer, more nuanced understanding of the world, beyond your own cultural or personal biases. Finally, indeterminacy may be the most challenging to apply, but it's incredibly free. Acknowledging that there are things we can never truly know can alleviate the stress of needing to have all the answers. It frees us to focus on the things that are within our control and to find contentment in the knowledge that uncertainty is an intrinsic part of the human experience. Putting it all together, 
Imperial skepticism offers us more than just philosophical musings. It presents us with a toolkit for navigating the complex and an often contradictory world, providing us with the means to lead a more peaceful and understanding life. At first glance, Pyrrho's skepticism and the tenets of nocturnity might seem to be in different realms. However, a closer look reveals a deeper alignment, especially in the shared emphasis on self-awareness and the pursuit of inner tranquility. The first point of resonance is the acknowledgement of darkness, principle in nocturnity. This tenet aligns with Pyrrho's method of apoche, the suspension of judgment. In nocturnity, acknowledging the darker aspects of life is the first step towards enlightenment. And similarly, in Pyrrho's philosophy, suspending judgment allows for a clearer, unbiased view of reality. Both approaches aim at achieving ataraxia, or inner tranquility, by letting go of preconceptions and biases. Next, we have the principle of universal learning in nocturnity which encourages drawing knowledge from various philosophies and religions. Pyrrho himself was known to have been influenced by Eastern philosophies during his travels. This open-mindedness toward different sources of wisdom and perspective aligns well with Nocturnity's call for a holistic understanding of the world. The third connection is the focus on self-illumination and Nocturnity, which is akin to Pyrrho's ataraxia. Both philosophies urge the individual to look inward for contentment and peace, rather than seeking external validation or relying on societal norms. In a way, Pyrrho's idea of suspending judgment to attain tranquility is an ancient precursor to Nocturnity's emphasis on finding your inner light amidst life's challenges. Pyrrho's skepticism and the philosophy of Nocturnity both offer powerful framework for navigating the complexities and uncertainties of human existence. While they may come from different historical and cultural contexts, they converge on fundamental themes like self-awareness, open-mindedness, and the quest for inner tranquility. So there we have it, the life and philosophy of Pyrrho of Ellis, a man who turned uncertainty into an art form. In a world teeming with conflicting truths and ceaseless striving for absolutes, Pyrrho's approach offers a tranquil haven, a pause in the midst of chaos. Could embracing the unknown be the key to finding peace? That's a question worth suspending judgment on. Until next time, keep questioning.